it's a great debate and a great question. Uh, and I clearly think we can cure patients with CLL. The most evident proof uh, and the easy one is with an allogeneic stem cell transplant, you, you cure approximately 30 to 40% of the patients uh, permanently. So uh, it's a no-brainer to say, yes, we can, because we have had the allogeneic transplant. But of course, the question and the debate is more meant about the normal therapies, the non-transplant therapies. And here, uh, I would also say there is a substantial evidence that we can achieve long-term remissions that some fellows call cure. Um, and uh, the, the patients that we have observed now for more than uh, 10 years, both at the MD Anderson and the German group that received FCR, fludarabine, cyclophosphamide, rituximab, years ago in our trials, uh, there is some patients who remain in remission and don't relapse at all anymore. They can be characterized by the following principles, so IGVH, mutational status, the mutated patients have a particularly good prognosis, and in particular if they have three additional features, trisomy 12, deletion 13Q, deletion 11Q. So those parameters define a population of patients uh, that highly benefits from FCR chemoimmunotherapy and seems to have a long-lasting remission that some colleagues start to call cure. Cure for me is the definition that the disease never comes back and uh, so we pr probably have to wait until the end of the lifetimes to really say this has happened but it looks pretty good and I think that's substantial evidence that long-lasting remissions can be achieved. Now with all the newer treatments that come along I think we have to be careful. Our goal is clearly to achieve long-lasting remissions in those patients as well and I'm very optimistic for one reason. In some of the newer treatments, in particular by using venetoclax in combination with antibodies or even triple combinations, venetoclax plus ibrutinib plus uh, obinutuzumab which is the strongest antibodies, we are seeing MRD negative remissions, so minimal residual disease is eradicated, and I'm fairly optimistic that this will also translate in longer remissions with a potential for cure or long-term control, uh, because we've seen exactly that same phenotype in FCR-treated patients. So it's particularly the group that is becoming MRD negative that now, then up subsequently has long-lasting remissions. The MD Anderson has very, very similar data, and so there is a good body of evidence that this might happen or has already happened.